Thanks to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, this is Mr. Viz. Welcome back to my channel. So uh, many people were uh, keep on asking whether uh, my TPS template is replicated or not. So uh, uh, first thing I try to replicate the existing template, but uh, due to some complications, I thought of starting from scratch. So uh, I have tried to uh, use almost the same logic that I've used in the uh, existing TPS uh, template uh, on the replicated one also. Uh, only thing is the placement of blueprints have been uh, changed. Uh, like uh, the, the code that was in the weapon base has been moved to the player uh, and, and something like that few, few areas. So uh, this is just a beta version of the uh, replicated template. Uh, so I've tried to make a few things. So I thought of showcasing this and uh, this project, the beta version will be available for download uh, via Patreon. Uh, so based on the support I receive or based on the uh, request uh, or uh, the, the feature request that I receive, I'll be uh, adding more features to this uh, template. And uh, I'll try to make a, a complete tutorial series for this uh, temp creating this version also, uh, so that people looking for a uh, replicated tutorial uh, can uh, stay tuned and you know make use of the tutorials. So let me just uh, show you what the template can actually do uh, as of now and what all I'm planning to add in the uh, future. So I'm, I'm using the blueprint uh, version of the uh, replicated base, not the plugin version uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm not very much comfortable in using the plugin because uh, when I want to uh, upgrade my Unreal Engine version, I have to, it has to be dependent on the actual plugin version release and that will lead to a lot of uh, uh, other uh, complications. So I thought of using the uh, blueprint uh, version of the template so to, to, to make uh, it be a bit easier and less dependent on on the actual replicated base so uh, yeah uh, the look and feel I'm, I'm trying to keep it almost like uh, PUBG but not everything like that but uh, a little inspiration was taken from PUBG so people who are looking for that kind of templates it will be useful so uh, from from my earlier request I thought of you know doing something like that so as you can see in the bottom uh, you have a health bar stamina bar and a painkiller bar so that I've, I haven't decided how to use it I mean uh, to what to use the third feature but it will be uh, for the painkillers then the first icon is for uh, the pouch uh, second icon for uh, the helmet third one for the armor uh, so now uh, only the basic health system uh, is done basic health and uh, stamina is done as you can see the stamina bar uh, reduces the other uh, features will be added uh, soon so the now the player can uh, pick up the bag so you can see a level 1 bag level 2 bag and level 3 bag all these images uh, sorry all these meshes were taken from sketchfab i have uh, left the uh, credits uh, to these authors on the credits file within the project so if you are using this as your final version you can you need to you know pass on the actual credits uh, so player can uh, pick up a lower level bag and uh, he can upgrade the bag but he cannot uh, downgrade for example he can take he can l3 directly from l1 so uh, l1 is dropped but he cannot pick it back as you can see the, the pickup option is not available uh, but for uh, the helmet and armor uh, player can uh, pick a lower level also for example uh, player can get the helmet level 1 level 2 he can go back to level 1 so this is because if the, if the player uh, helmet gets damaged and if he has a, uh, a lower level of helmet that is of uh, uh, better health, uh, he can uh, pick it up. So similarly for the armor, so armor is taken. So I didn't get a good armor mesh, so I just used the same armor with a different texture for uh, different shade winning in level, level 2 and level 3. Uh, in the in the hut below, as you can see, once I picked all the uh, bags, helmet and uh, the armor, the icons, the respective uh, progress bars have changed and uh, I'll be adding the damage feature which are, uh, to these things as he said and when it is being damaged and the, when the bag is full, those progress bars will get updated 
and as of now i have added only three uh, weapons uh, one gun uh, one handgun one rifle and one shotgun more weapons also will be added so uh, player can uh, pick it holster it and uh, pick a new gun uh, similarly the ammo uh, uh, player can pick the ammo So, uh, player can switch between the guns. As you can see, uh, the uh, ammo that's in the mag and also the total ammo that we have picked up has uh, been updated on the head. And uh, the icons also appear, so whichever is active will get a, a white icon, the others will be uh, grayed out. Uh, so the weapons can be changed with keys 1, 2 and 3, uh, 1 and 2 for the primary weapons which is on the back socket and 3 is for the secondary weapon that's uh, the handgun. So when I press 1 nothing happens because he already has that uh, weapon in hand. Uh, so weapon 2 was picked, I can change back to weapon 1 and I can uh, pick weapon 3. So this is also fine and damage system will work. So player can uh, fire at the player. Okay. So the enemy uh, uh, dies and yeah. And one thing is uh, when you pick the gun and if you don't have a bag and after that if you pick the bag so it automatically changes the socket and uh, gets uh, properly aligned in the back yeah so as i said this is just a base version uh, that has been done so uh, the features i'm planning to add in the future is a complete uh, inventory system uh, along with that uh, in the inventory system the weapons uh, will be able to uh, uh, modify the weapons like adding uh, scope uh, max uh, those kind of things with the weapon attachments so that will be added in the future and crosshair uh, updates the as i said uh, progress bars for the back contents and uh, health progress bar, bar for armor and uh, the helmet so those things will be added in the future. I'll, I'll try to bring in almost all the features that I have in the existing uh, TPS template. So whichever is applicable and whichever is needed for a replicated game, I'll bring them here and there will definitely be a, a fine tuning of a few logics uh, which is which are required. So those also will be done. Yeah, for, for any feature request, please DM me uh, via Discord and uh, please try to support me uh, via patreon and you can download this uh, project files uh, via patreon and you can try it out and uh, let me know your feedback thank you thanks for watching thanks for all the support Bye.